Hello, I'm Nick, mgax 2 k 3 and I'm going to be showing real quick a Minecraft server that some friends and I recently started playing on. Um, starting out in my house here, I've got a little couch with every color wool, you know, just sit down, take in the colors, some cake, that's not a lie, that's some good cake by the way. Um, we just randomly found this server and decided to mess around on it and it's been pretty fun. Um, here's upstairs in my house. I really like glowstone, so that's my main lighting. I don't bother with torches. Go ahead and head out. I'm a little bit laggy running on a server and running recording as seen by my doors not wanting to close. Alright, I'll go ahead and hop over my fence. Here is my Pokeball. I don't know why I made it, I just wanted it. And there's my trash can. And this right here is my mailbox. We all live in an area with a wall all the way around it. It's a little village and we all have mailboxes so that we can give each other stuff and we don't have to be online. And let's see. Here's a really creepy tunnel that um, I've seen enough Herobrine videos that I'm not going to go down. Anyway, I'll go up here. This will give a little look around our place. It won't be the best, but let's see. Hi, Creeper. Okay. Like I said, wall all the way around. Um, that's the last place I'll be going. That's our town square. It actually goes up to roof limit and then down to bedrock. So that'll probably make me lag, you know, ten times more. Um, this right here is our little corner deal. It's just if the roads or the tracks ever need to be fixed. We rarely have monsters in here, but sometimes we do. Um, here's our cobblestone and mossy cobblestone mushrooms. No village is complete without them. Head over this bridge here. I got really creative. I was just bored one day. Made it completely out of fences. Why not? Um, another example of my boredom. Here is a giant lava cross. Looks kind of cool. Looks even better at night when you can really actually see everything. I'll go ahead and head in here. This is Bo Killen's house, or Toe Killen's house, excuse me. Um, he had train tracks or minecart tracks all the way down here, but I kind of broke them with water on accident. They never got fixed, but oh well. Um, go ahead and head down here. There's his bed. You know, a little small area. He's underwater. Got some cactuses there. They do a really good job of randomly killing the squid that like to hang out by his house. Go ahead and head downstairs. Not much down here. It's just, you know, typical storage. There's a little trash can for him. Um, head down here. And here's our giant ravine. We pretty much have this all to ourselves. It's been explored, but at the same time, there's still a lot in it. Go ahead and head back out. Head back upstairs here. We moved really far away from spawn because we originally had some problems with the owners of the server, um, but so far there haven't been too many issues, at least recently. But we still moved really far away from spawn, put up a wall, you know. Um, here's another trash can made out of lapis, just for decoration really. They get used every now and then. 
here is Randall's box, I mean house. Um, he originally made it out to be a trailer and then changed his mind on it and didn't really change the shape. He just changed what it looks like. Here's his room. He has a really big and empty room. Not sure why. Let's see, go in here, storage room. That's what I'd expect to be in a storage room. Uh, and I'm guessing this is some kind of crafting and smelting room. Hey! Okay, so it was. Uh, head in here. Guest room. Pretty straightforward. If he ever has guests over, but let's face it, Randall doesn't have any friends. He's not going to ever have any guests. Close the doors behind me, try to leave everything how I found it. Oops, I guess I forgot to close that one. Not sure why he has a window into his bedroom. Not sure what he wants people watching, but let's not question it. It's okay. We don't judge here. We're all friends. We don't judge. All right, I'm heading. I'll head into the farm really quick. This was a pain in the ass to build, just because of the size and all the glass and having to make it. It's basically a giant greenhouse, and we just use it as a community farm. Um, I'll head right now into Rill's house, and it appears Rill is home. Hi, Rill. Hi. Hi. Okay. This is the library. Pretty self-explanatory. Okay. Get out of my way, bro. Head in here. Storage. Not sure why there's stacked crafting tables. Who needs more than one? But, okay. He is not wearing any pants. Go ahead and head upstairs. Let's see. Chickens. Work in progress. And the no life bar. Uh... Wow, it's a bar. Um, a lot of our place is a work in progress, and it probably, I probably won't even put another video out showing it once it's all finished, just because I think I just picked up a bunch of, why did I pick up can oh, I don't care. Um, a lot of it won't get finished because of the, um, fact that the server will reset when it goes to 1.9. So yeah. Go ahead and head in here. This is Rill's room. Pretty self-explanatory. And dance room. I was actually in here earlier and the redstone was moving and it made it blink and it was a really cool strobing effect but it appears it broke. Aw, I want a minecart. It says don't forget your minecart, but it's locked. <clears throat> anyway, I'll go ahead and head over here. And yes, I'm speeding this up because I've got OCD. I realized that some of the torches were broken. And okay, now we're back. Um, this is Zito's house. He put lava, because as if we don't lag enough on a server, lava, um, not sure, I guess he, you know, was going for a psychopathic padded wall thing, I don't know, I've talked to him, he could use it, um, he definitely could use a padded room, but it looks like he didn't find enough sheep or something, um, the, the colors kind of hurt my eyes, I won't lie. Um, let's see, go upstairs. Oh, there's no wool up here. Okay. Um, that ladder just goes outside. It's just chests. That's kind of boring. Okay. <sighs> yeah. So I'm totally going to just hang my head in shame. Um, yeah, Zito. Just Zito. All right. I'll leave. 
Uh, sun's starting to go down, so you'll be able to get a cool view of the place at night, too. Go ahead and I'll speed this up while I'm going downstairs. Um, this is just, it's group storage if we ever have anything. And then circles all the way down to bedrock. Circle, 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 circle. Okay, we put obsidian on top of the bedrock. It's not finished. As you can tell, it was going to have a roof, a little too tall roof on it. You can see the asbestos over here, so you can tell we're at bedrock. If real, we'll get out of my way. All right, there we go. See it? Um, we're right above bedrock. The idea was to have a too tall monster spawning area that was indestructible. Still a work in progress. All right. Go back up here. Real just passed me. And, okay. Slow it back down. This is our community notice board. Um, you know, if we need anything, that kind of thing. Uh, items for distribution. We share everything here. If people don't share with us, they don't live with us. You know, here's our nether portal. Once again, group portal. Um, all right. I'll go ahead and speed it back up because now I'm going up to roof limit with it. It takes a lot less time to get down to bedrock than it does to get to roof limit. Okay, I'm up here. This gives an amazing view. I've, we've got chandeliers up here for lighting. And you can look down... And you can see there's my house directly under us. There's the bridge. You can't really see the cross, but you can still make it out. I really like that. You can tell just how big or, in some cases, small our place is. Um, there's Randall's box right there. There's Rill's house. Zito's is actually that cobblestone. It's actually built into the wall. Um, his house came first, then the wall. And yeah, that's about all there is to see here. Thanks for watching.